We're here with head coach Pete Lindsay. Pete, can you talk about how you think today went? I was pleased with our performances today. It was a um, typical meet where the other team sort of comes out and tries to set you back on your heels and um, uh, take your momentum away. And, and the guys kept fighting. They stayed in the races. They came and had you know pretty good races right in the middle of the meet at the 50 and the 100. Um, divers came through. Divers came through well. Uh, Eastern has a very strong diving core, and our guys, you know, held up with them. So I was I was pretty pleased with that. We were um, three weeks out, four weeks out, four weeks out, and you could see we didn't quite have the back end that we needed on our races. But that'll come around with the uh, with the rest here. Can you talk about some of your top performers too? Say again. Some of your top performers. Um, well, I thought Lucas swam pretty well in the 50 over in the outside lane. He's been. Um, Hadn't been feeling well over the last week and a half, and mentally he gets himself into a little bind, so that's why I was over on the outside. But, you know, he stepped up well. He stepped up well. We're kind of reinforcing you don't have to feel great to swim fast, so that was good. Breaststrokers, I thought Evan was, Evan was competitive. Jake Pordell had one whale of a meet today, you know, so that was, that was a plus. I think Evan, Evan was solid. He's where he's been, which is what I, I like to see, just, you know, some consistency. Um, I thought Robbie Newman's 200 fly uh, and Rebekowitz, the 200 flies were very, very strong. So, but pretty pleased. Yeah. yeah. So Eastern Michigan is obviously one of the like better teams in the conference. Can you talk about how the guys benefit from facing a team like Michigan? Well, Eastern, Eastern's conference champions, they, you know, they trade off back and forth with Missouri State. I think they were second last year and Missouri State, I think, won it. Um, Anytime you're facing the best people in your conference, you, you're measuring yourself. You try to figure out, okay, that guy really moved on the turn better than I did. I need to pay some attention to that. You know? Or you could see with Nick Potter today, uh, he's a freshman, and okay, you got to learn how to pace because he's still in the mode where he wants to get with the leader and stay there. But then if the leader's you know, 10, 12 seconds faster than you, you're, you know, that's, that's education. Yeah. That's education with him. So I think anytime you can benchmark yourself and if you're going to be benchmarking yourself with somebody who's in top two teams that's that's a good thing that's a good thing thank you coach you're welcome we're here with junior lucas brock lucas can you talk a little bit about senior day please absolutely uh, so it's really great to see all of our seniors be recognized uh, we have a really great senior class um, i think pete touched on that they make they've made the conference team every year um, so they are Great teammates to swim with, not just for their speed, but for how great they are as guys. Um, so we're definitely going to miss them, but it's great to spend a day to celebrate their accomplishments. Yeah. Lucas, how does facing a team like Eastern Michigan help prepare you for Max? I mean, Eastern Michigan are conference champions, you know, and we got fifth, they got first. So, I mean, they're definitely, uh, they have some real fast speed and a lot of um, capability. But uh, it's great to get in the pool and race them and kind of show them that uh, we have something to offer as a team. Uh, and I think that's really going to prepare us for conference in terms of showing that we did have swims where we are actually beating them and winning and, you know, having some good competition. So it's a good preparation for conference. One more question for you, Lucas. You had a really good race in the 50 free. Can you talk about, like, what was going through your head? Uh, actually, we've been talking about, we actually, we watched a movie uh, that uh, the kind of takeaway was to take out the trash to kind of mentally clear your head. And so I was working really hard to kind of keep it clear and focus on clarity. Um, so I just wanted to swim fast and it was fun to be, be so head clear and then touch the wall and have all the alumni cheer as I touched the wall. So it's great. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Lucas. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.